Harlequins hosted Bath on Friday night at the Stoop, with the visitors looking to make it back-to-back -back league wins for the first time this season. They didn't get off to the start thereafter, though, as the hosts went ahead through the boot of Ben Botica. And soon after, it would get even worse for the West Country side. Nikista getting the all-important intercept and able to ship it on to Harry Sloan, who had just enough to reach the line. Botica would miss the conversion and Bath almost responded in style. A well-worked move involving Kyle Eastman and Matt Banahan found the on-rushing Horatio Aguja. However, the Argentinian was stopped short by a sensational last-ditch tackle from Ross Chisholm. And Manaki Maffi tried and failed to force his way over too. Soon after they would get their first points of the match though, through Tom Homer as he knocked over a penalty to get them back to within five. Buttica and Homer exchange penalties as both sides set about playing a fascinating game of running rugby. Pressure from the hosts eventually saw Bath's Chris Cook forced into a deliberate knock-on and the scrum half was given ten minutes for his troubles. Buttercup would knock over the resulting penalty and Quinns would take full advantage of the extra man. Prop Mark Lambert with the initial bust up the centre before the ball was shipped out wide and the fast feet of Charlie Walker proved too much for a labouring Bath defence. A subsequent Buttercup conversion making it a 21-6 lead for Quinns at half time. Immediately after the break and Walker was at it again, this time through another Bath error. He seized on the loose ball and sprinted in from over halfway to put the hosts in an even more commanding position. Buttica added the extras and two minutes later it got even worse for the visitors. More pressure from the hosts resulting in a try for captain James Horwell. A bonus point confirmed for Conor O'Shea's men just 44 minutes in. A scoreless 20 minutes proceeded until Bath were given their own chance to have an extra man for 10 minutes following the sim bidding of Sam Toomey. And they take that chance almost immediately, driving Moore putting the pressure on before Maffey finished brilliantly in the corner. Homer couldn't add the extras, but it wouldn't be long before the visitors were on the score sheet once again. Loose play down the Quinn's right-hand side, presenting Bath with the opportunity to attack. And substitute Jeff Williams was on hand to dot down after some good work from Dominic Day. Having been 29 points down at one stage, an unlikely comeback was made somewhat more probable by another try from Bath with just under 10 minutes to go. Williams's opposite wing, Samessa Rokadunguni, cutting back inside and finding space to race in for the try. Homer's conversion got them to within 10, one try short of a try scoring bonus point and three points short of a losing bonus point. They chose to take the one bonus point with the last play of the game as they opted to kick an easy penalty rather than go for the corner. An exceptional fight back from Mike Ford's side, but not quite enough to do the job in a fascinating game at the Stoop. The final score, Harlequins 35, Bath 28.